yo, yo, Ziggy here. I'm going to bring something a little bit different. I'm going to bring a gameplay over real life pool playing nine ball. And before we get started, I'd like your feedback on what you think this painting is. My uncle painted this, and uh, it was a gift from a long time ago. And only one person has ever visited my house and got it right. But I'd like to show you guys this painting and see what you think it is. So leave your interesting guesses in the comment section below. I'll let you know if you got it right. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to get it right though. But anyways, nine ball. This pool table, very old. It's 25 years old. I've been playing pool pretty much since I was five years old. And, um, you know, of course, back then this pool table was beige. This is a standard eight and four. So eight foot table um, on the cushions. And, you know, I've been playing pool a long time. It's a lot of fun. The game I'm going to be showing you though right now is nine ball. Nine ball is awesome because it's pretty quick, easy. Not really much to learn or know. Some of the rules are yeah, pretty basic, but pretty much if you make the nine ball in on the break, you win. Let's see if I can do that. That'd be like getting a Moab. Damn it. I get everything but the nine ball. But I made a lot of. Yeah, look at that one just stuck right there. Now, pretty much the object of the game is to try to get the nine ball into a pocket. Now, you must have the cue ball hit, however the lowest ball on the table which is the one that's all the way over there now I was able to make the two and eight so right there sorry heart eight and um so at least I have not much to work so this should be a pretty nice and quick game now you don't have to call your shot so like this one ball is just right here in the pocket now obviously I, that's gonna go in but you don't have to play it all the time like that I'm gonna use this cue ball knowing that that's a pretty much a gimme shot I'm gonna have the cue hit off the rail right here and try to come back and try to maybe mess with the nine because if that nine goes in on your shot, you win the game. That's what the object is. Get that money ball in. So let's let's put the camera up on the one. I'm gonna bring that cue. You're gonna see it fly past the camera watch. <laughs> I actually ran into the camera. Now I brought the cue back. Pretty much did exactly what I wanted it to do, but I didn't even make contact with nine. It will still still be my shot. So now I got the three. So here's another situation again. I can make this three easily in that pocket if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna try though to try to get this game over with pretty quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the three. Not really care too much about how I hit it to go go for a pocket. I really want the cue to spin off the three up on top here to bring it off this rail and try to hit the nine into this pocket. Yeah, I know, all complicated, right? But that's how you play this game. You don't have to, I mean, you, obviously you could go for everything. So the three's next and the five, whatever. But I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to win this game for you guys quick. Ah, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Now, that's the cool thing, though. You don't have to cut your shots. I still made the three in here. So it will still be my turn. Lowest ball left is the five. So let's see. Should I have a play on the nine with the five? Hmm, maybe. Let's see. Come on, nine ball. Let's go, nine ball. Let's go. There we go. Hit the nine. Come on, nine. Go somewhere. Not up against the rail. Well, now it will be somebody else's turn, obviously. So now this person is probably going to be playing, I would say straight up. You know, five in the corner. Nine's up in the rail. But since it's just us, I'm going to mess around and try to get that nine out of that damn rail and into a pocket. Oh, wait a minute. See that scratch right there? Look, I just bounced the cue off the damn table. That's a scratch. So, that means ball in hand. It depends. You know, sometimes people, you know, play nine ball a little bit different. But, we'll play ball in hand. Five right there. This one, I'm probably be a little more safe. I don't want to embarrass myself too much in front of y'all. So, let's do this. Bring this ball back that way. So I have a nice play on the six. Off the corner. Come on, get your ass in there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm rusty right now. All right, there's only a couple of balls left though. So next person goes. They're gonna be going for the six in the corner. I bet. What I got. Now this is where it's interesting. All right, so the game is already almost over. Now, me, if I personally had this situation like this, I would probably go seven into the corner 
to line up the cue, bring the cue back behind here, behind the nine ball, so I can have a shot at the winning, the winning shot. Now this is very dangerous at the same time because if I miss this, then that leaves the guy, my next opponent, if I was playing somebody, with a clear shot at the nine, either with the seven or with, or with the straight on. Let's see. I got shoot left handed now, all messed up. Perfect, but I want to bring the cue too damn far back. Shit. All right, so nine. That's kissing the damn rail. Now, like I said, you don't have to call your shots at nine ball. Spray and pray. Let's spray and pray. Fuck it. Spray and pray. Boom! Game winner. Well, that's the game. That's nine ball. Pretty quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Ziggy saying peace. I'm out this motherfucker.